So my last travel loadout video, I showed you my ultralight setup. That's something I would typically use when I'm traveling out of a backpack and when I'm flying. My wife and I are recently fully vaccinated and we're actually going on a quick road trip and staying at a hotel on the coast for the next few days here in Oregon. We're super excited, gonna take some time to relax and rewind, enjoy the coast. It's a great time of year for it. I actually did a photography job a few years back that was a trade for a hotel voucher. So we're using that up now finally going on a road trip and this is what I'm bringing before we get into the loadout I have some personal news I want to share feel free to skip to right here if you want to just get straight into it but after five years of car free living my wife and I have actually gotten our first car since 2016 we're really excited about this it's not really going to change our day-to-day -day life we still walk around town everywhere my wife still walks to work I mainly work from home and the car is old and has a ton of miles but has been running really well and we've just been really excited and wanting to get out and explore around Oregon and around the west coast you know since we moved out here from Michigan we haven't been able to do a ton of more localized traveling just without owning a car car rentals can get expensive and we've taken a few flights to different cities and stuff like that but we finally broke down we got a car our little adventure mobile I've been on four camping trips in the last five weeks uh, uh, taking it out and exploring. It's been a ton of fun. So that is uh, what we're taking on our road trip. I kind of had the idea of making a video, you know, what I've learned living car free for five years or my experiences getting car after not having one for five years. If you'd like to see that video, let me know down in the comments. I've been on the fence about it, so this will be a good way for me to gauge some interest. Before we get into the bag, this is what I'll be wearing. Uh, this is just a really basic black cotton t-shirt. I don't need to worry too much about technical fabrics because I can pack plenty of clothes to wear the whole time and don't really need to worry about re-wearing anything. So I have a cotton t-shirt and then my outlier slim dungarees. These things are amazing. Even when I don't need to pack light, they are still the perfect travel pants and the perfect just everyday pants. Absolutely love those. So I'll be wearing those two things. Bag of choice for this trip is going to be the packed one duffel bag. Being completely honest, I've flown with this thing a few times and I really did not like it in comparison to traveling with a backpack. Backpacks are just a lot easier for flights. You know, it's just a lot easier to throw it on your back, not even think about it. You can navigate around the airport, navigate around whatever city you're visiting to, and it's just been a much simpler, easier process for me. But for road trips, I uh, absolutely love the duffel setup because it's easier to get in and out of for things and you don't really need to worry about carrying it because it's just gonna stay in your car or in the hotel or Airbnb. Uh, really, really good setup for me and I'm excited to be able to get a little bit more use from this thing moving forward. Like I said, I'm packing a little bit heavier with this trip, not really worrying about needing to rewear things, anything like that. For uh, socks and underwear, I just have in the small cube here. I have just a really basic synthetic pair of socks, so I want something more lightweight. I'll probably wear these around as uh, pajama socks while, uh, while we're in the hotel. And then I have two pair of my merino wool hiking socks. These things are just really nice and warm. On the Oregon coast, even in the summer months, it gets pretty cold and windy when you're hanging out on the beach, so nice to have these just in case. You can also have bonfires on the beach there, which is super cool and something I'm very excited about. And then the underwear I'm bringing uh, are my Tommy John cotton underwear. I don't normally like to travel with these on flights because you can't rewear them as much as some of the merino underwear I've tried, but they're super comfortable. I've had these for six years and they're still in excellent condition. So big kudos to Tommy John, not a sponsor, and I bought these myself, but they are incredible. That's it for the socks and underwear. Moving into the clothes, just have a few basics here. So I have my merino wool outlier t-shirt, and then I also have just a basic cotton t-shirt shirt again I think this one was from Target I get a lot of my basics from Target uh, I'm also bringing this sweatshirt which is from Target this was from Target uh, they've held up pretty well for a couple of years now I know they're cheap quality and probably won't last as long as I would like but if you're on a budget and looking for something decent um, I've been pretty happy with most of my Target basics 
So I have that sweatshirt there. And then I also have these pair of just like fleece joggers. These things have been a very valuable piece of my wardrobe since I got them last year. Uh, they're just really nice and simple, super comfortable. I wear them for camping generally, but they're great just to throw on if you want something a little comfier, if you need to run to the grocery store or something. So I'm bringing those for uh, those cool nights just to have something comfy, a couple of t-shirts and another sweatshirt. And that is really it for the clothes. Even my heavier packouts are still lighter than a lot of people I know, but I'm just so used to going as light as absolutely possible. It's nice just to be able to kind of toss whatever I think I might need into my travel bag for the road trip setup. That's it for all of the clothes though. Getting in the other side, this is going to be all of my other like miscellaneous type of items. I have my water bottle. This is really easy when this thing's fully zipped up. You can just toss it in and out. Um, it's my lightweight hydro flask. This is the newer trail series been talking this thing up in practically every video. It's incredible though. Check it out if you don't have one or if you need a water bottle. I am bringing a second pair of shoes. Definitely another luxury item for my road trip heavier setup here. And these are from Glyph. And uh, Glyph is actually sponsoring today's episode. So huge thanks to them. Uh, these are just a really nice, stretchy, lightweight knit loafer. They are incredibly comfortable. I've had these for a couple of months now since they sent them out for me to test and try. They have a handful of different colors for these. I chose just the black on black. It definitely fits my aesthetic and look easiest and it's gonna be the most versatile for me, but they have a really cool navy and a kind of reddish brown sole color that I think looks really nice as well. You can wear these with kind of a nicer outfit, but you can also wear them as beach shoes, as camp shoes. You know, they are, they're gonna fit a wide variety of situations. I personally have been really liking them for those kind of more casual days. You can wear them with active wear around town, but I've also taken these out as my camp shoes for the last two trips I've been on and they have been excellent. The insoles are also removable and replaceable. So as you wear out the insoles, you can actually just replace those out instead of throwing away your shoes. And um, if you do decide that these are at the end of their life, if you wore them out too much, they do have a really great recycling program where you can send these back and they'll be fully recycled and then you can get a discount on a replacement pair. So really great that they have that in place, trying to reduce as much waste as possible. But yeah, these have just been super comfortable. Huge thanks to Glyph for sponsoring today's video. Again, just really great shoes. Be sure to check them out if you are in need of some. Moving on to the rest of the setup though, I have my ultralight dop kit. Uh, I could have packed heavier, but I really didn't need to. This little bag here is from Moment. It's actually their mini tech pouch, but it works really well for the dop kit for me. Flipping it out here, we have a handful of different things. I have some toothpaste tabs. You don't have to travel with all the extra liquids. Better for the environment as well. And I have a nice little foldable toothbrush from Muji. Love this thing. A little beard brush here. Comes in really handy. You could swap it out for shaving stuff if you are not a bearded person, um, but really great, nice and small. And then I have my soap and shampoo, body wash, all of that stuff in this nice little dry bag for your soap bar. Um, who else bought this after I talked about it last time? I know a handful of you did. I just adore this little thing and I feel like no one has talked about it before. So I felt like I was cracking new news for the uh, the travel community on YouTube here. But yeah, I have my uh, utility bar in here and then it just folds up, keeps everything else nice and dry so you're not getting a scummy bag that you're gonna have to throw out. And then I have my little travel deodorant. I really appreciate all the recommendations for alternative deodorant options in the last video. I still have some of this left so I'm waiting until I run out before I buy new stuff and uh, test everything out but I really appreciate all the recommendations in the last video. Moving on from there, uh, no trip to Oregon coast would be complete without a rain jacket. This is the Marmot Precip. It folds into its own pocket and it's pretty lightweight. It's just about a pound for the medium size. Uh, I've had this thing since I moved out to Oregon in 2016. It's held up really well, still going strong for me. Uh, yeah, the Marmot Precip. I think they have a little bit of a different name now on it. I think it's called the Eco Precip or something like that. I'll leave a link down below if anyone is in need of a rain jacket, but I've been really happy with that. And uh, last on the main inside compartment here is the packed coffee kit. 
This is definitely a great luxury item to bring for the road trip. It's a great way to do pour over coffee on the go. You get an electric kettle and a whole pour over system and there's a nice container to store your coffee, all of that sort of stuff. So I am excited to be uh, having a good use for this moving forward because it's always nice to be able to travel somewhere and still have really good coffee. That's everything in the main compartment. One last category to mention is my tech items. I've been going pretty lightweight with my tech lately and I've not been regretting it. As the phone technology has improved, I've just been needing less and less on the go with me. But it's vacation, gonna be sitting on the beach, bringing my Kindle for sure. I love to read. I love the e ink screen on that thing. Still the Gen 1 Paperwhite, but they have uh, the newest generation is fully waterproof and they have the Kindle Oasis and stuff, but been pretty happy with the Gen 1 still, still working fine for me. I'll probably keep it until it dies or runs out or anything. Then from there, I have a little battery bank, just really nice if we're gonna be taking you know longer walks on the coast or going on hikes or anything like that. Nice to have some battery power with me and just have a little lightning cable and then a power brick to uh, charge up my phone. And then I also have my AirPods here just because I don't want to bother other people on the beach with my music or podcasts. So bring in the AirPods. But that is it for the tech. And that is actually it for the loadout. Uh, like I said, super pumped up for this trip. It's been a while since we've been on a proper trip and uh, I just can't wait. We've been really happy having the car. We've been doing a whole bunch of exploring. This is gonna be a great year for camping and backpacking and stuff for me too. Like I said, I've already been out on four trips in the past several weeks. They've been short ones, but it's been a ton of fun exploring Central and Eastern Oregon. I haven't really gotten a ton of chance to get out there much, so expect more of that. Let me know if you wanna hear more like camping type of videos in the future what types of camping or outdoor type of videos you'd like to see. I would love to hear about that in addition to um, you know what we talked about earlier with the car video potentially. But thank you all so much for watching and uh, thanks again to Glyph for sponsoring today's video. Check out those shoes if you need some, but I will talk to you all in the next video.